Hi there, I'm Jennifer Heinen, also known as Jennifer Jangles, and I am here today at Sissix to show you my new dies. Um, I'm super excited about this one. It's the Happy Camper, and it can be a pincushion or just a little fun toy to, um, to have sitting around. Uh, there's lots and lots of flexibility with this die because of the different curtains. There's little flags and pennants and wings so you can make a um, whole trailer park and I've got some here done in different colors some have wings made out of felt and um, others have little awnings all sorts of options so I'm going to show you um, how to do these today let's get started this one doesn't take a lot of fabric so it's great for your scrap bin and what we'll need to uh, to make the actual body of the camper is just a few squares of fabric, like four by eight, three by 10, not much. And then we have a bottom piece. And then everything else has paperback fusible webbing applied to it before it's cut. So um, I just cut some, you know, some basic scraps, different sizes that I think will work with the die, put the paperback um, fusible webbing on it, and then it's ready to cut. I've got my die here and I'm going to show you how I lay out the fabric on it to cut it for, for the camper. The long piece goes here and we need two, um, a front and a back. So I'm going to fold the fabric over so that way it goes here. Now for these, um, I had a larger piece of fabric and I cut it in half instead of folding it because the paper backed webbing kind of makes it want to pop open. And so I'm gonna put these right sides together and put them on the die. These are the pieces for the front and back side panel. Once again, I'm gonna place them together, put it here. I've got two wheels. They're gonna go here and the center wheels. I've got two little squares of fabric. This is the bottom. So it goes over here. Um, this is felt if I'm going to do wings for the camper and I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this to in half so that way it doesn't pop open when I'm trying to move the die around. This red is for the little heart. The green is the door for the camper. Now the um, pink curtains, those also need to be um, right sides together because I need an opposite for each side of the window. And we, I'm gonna do a window on the front and the back of the camper, so I'm gonna do two sets of those, which then means I need two windows for the curtains to go on. And then there's um, a longer window on the front and the back of the camper that has an awning too. And I actually am going to cut this fabric in half. There it is. And two awnings for the front and back also. I still have a pennant flag. This camper is not going to have um, pennants on the front, so I'm not going to cut those. I've got my die and it's all set up with the fabric on it and I'm ready to run it through my machine. So I'm going to put a cutting pad on the bottom and I'm gonna set it in the machine. This is a Big Shot Plus. Um, the die, I'm gonna just turn it just slightly at an angle and it will cut a little better this way um, and make the blades last longer. And then I'm gonna put the cutting pad on top and just send it through, crank it. This is so nice to not have to cut all these little tiny pieces by hand. Now I have all of my pieces cut and it's time to place the appliques on the three main uh, body pieces of the camper. This is the roof portion and then the two sides. And each of these has the blue panels on it. Now I'm not gonna show you this because it would just take too much time on camera, but um, make sure that you peel the paper backing off of the fabric and then um, you'll be ready to press it down. So you'll start by putting all the panels at the bottom like this and then on on the camper the side that is up higher doesn't matter but this is just kind of how I um, do this arrange this camper is the side that I put the door on which you can put it on here this side or here but I just stick to this side of the the camper for height so I'm going to arrange the door and the heart goes on the door here. 
and then the wheels because you're going to sew with a quarter inch um, seam allowance at the bottom here put them up a little bit higher so the bottom of the wheel doesn't get cut off in the sewing it seems a little strange now but trust me it'll it'll turn out all right and then the wheels have centers and then it's time for the windows and the wings and things like that now um, with this camper I have a window on each side and um, the door. This, this particular one has um, pennants on it. You can put flags on the front, flags on the back, flags all around. Um, this camper here has the window with the curtains, but then it also has a cute little black and white awning. You can do that. You could put the windows with the curtains on um, either side, whatever you wanna do. You can make so many different campers with this die. Um, for my, my sake, I'm gonna put a window a square window on each side here. If you're gonna put a wing, if you're gonna stitch a wing on, you might wanna leave a little extra space right here because that's where they'll go. And then these windows have curtains. And then the windows that um, go on the, the roof panel. And these have little awnings that will arrange on top too. And once I have all of the pieces where I want them to go on the, um, the campers, then I just take it to my pressing station and press them down with an iron. Um, if you're using a, a really heavy duty permanent um, fusible webbing, then you can be done at this step and sew the camper together. I use a lighter fusible paper backed webbing and I like to go around and stitch all of the appliques down to keep them in place, but then also um, for just added decoration. I've got all my pieces sewn onto the camper parts and knots are tied, threads are trimmed, and now it's time to put the camper pieces together. And um, I'm gonna start with the front. I'm gonna move the, the back of the camper out. And what we're gonna do is basically sew this around like this. And to start, I'm gonna take this blue panel part and align it with the blue panel on the front of the camper. And I'm gonna pin a couple pins here. And then when I get this side on, I'm just gonna go around and pin the second side of the two panels together because then that way I know that my bottom raw edges are gonna line up. So I've got that and now I'm going to go back and pin this roof to the curve of the camper. Use a lot of pins, it makes it so much easier to sew, you can just pull them out while you're sewing on the machine. All right, I've got this side pinned, you can see, it's probably easier to see on this side, but the roof is all the way around, and so now I'm gonna take this to the machine and sew this edge with a quarter inch seam. And when I get this side sewn on, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the second side. Now it's time to sew the bottom on the camper. The bottom here is a rectangle shape, and we've got a rectangle, so it's super easy to figure out that you're just gonna sew it on here. What I do, is I start by pinning the two short sides, kind of go opposite sides and place a few pins across this side. And then I do the other short side. That way your fabric stays where it needs to be and doesn't get twisted or bunched up when you're pinning it. Okay, and then I have two other sides. One side I'm gonna pin all the way across. The other side, we've gotta leave an opening um, to turn the camper and fill it with fiber fill. So I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna probably pin to just around the corners. So that way the corners aren't um, left unsewn while we're turning it. Maybe like three inches here in the middle that we won't sew. And then I'm gonna pin this side and we'll take it to the machine and sew it all the way around. Sew this with a quarter inch seam allowance. The camper's sewn now, so it's time to clip the curves. And I'm just gonna use my scissors and go along up to the seam. Be careful not to cut the thread while you're doing this, but just every quarter inch, half inch around the camper. Once you're done with the clipping, you're gonna turn the camper right side out 
and fill it with fiber fill and stitch up the opening um, with a needle and thread. And once you have it filled and stitched, then if you want to add the wings to the side, you just stitch right here, hand stitch. You can use a contrasting thread or a matching thread and sew them to each side. And you've got a happy camper.